Hey guys, um, here a while back ago I was reading on a Ford group that I uh, am involved with about a, a fellow that had about a, an early 70s Ford pickup truck with a 360 V8 in it, which is a FE class of engines, Ford engines, and um, this guy was uh, going on to relate about how he had had his engine professionally rebuilt and it had, he had had absolutely nothing but trouble with it since um, since he had it rebuilt and it was just ongoing problems one problem after another and um, I thought being that I have my 360 out of my old uh, 73 Ford F100 um, and being I have a having this engine out and doing some work on it mainly mainly it needed a head some head work but I thought it'd be a good time to share um, one of the little problems that or one of the little things that gets overlooked on these engines that sometimes engine builders miss and uh, I had this explained to me a while back ago when I had a took it took uh, 390 to a machine shop and had it gone over and so on doing doing work to it mainly head work on it too it mainly just needed head work and bearings everything else was pretty good shape this one right here is kind of about the same way so in any case one of the things that you know gets overlooked is uh, this thing these fe engines they have a an oil galley plug in them that gets overlooked uh, it's kind of an out of sight out of mind kind of deal you can see how like this right here there's an oil there's a plug in here it's like a freeze plug and it's really you know a little a little guy and um, there's a few of them throughout this engine there's one right here one right there one right there one right there you know and they're fairly obvious and then back here you guys pretty probably pretty used to seeing on most of these engines most engines you have uh, this thing right here has uh, four tapped holes where where plugs go in um, just tapered pipe plugs you got an allen take an allen wrench to crank them in there and um, those right there are pretty well straightforward and obvious right and uh, but the oil galley holes you know that, that feed the uh, hydraulic lifters you know they go they go through the, the one end of the block clear out the other end and um, the same way with the, the center one, the center is fine here. There's a, a plug right here, pretty pretty obvious. And I'm shaking around too much, but um, the the cover plate that holds the the adjust or keeps the cam in place has these two bolts on it. And this one bolt right here is where that oil galley comes out. So this bolt plugs off plugs off the hole in the the, like the passenger side of the engine the other side has this hole here and this hole goes through into where the distributor comes down you know the Fords have their distributor in the front but if you look back up in there there's another one of them little plugs hiding and uh, guys tend to forget that one that little guy um, here I'll stick my finger through you can kind of see where my fingers at and I'll shine the flashlight at it. That's the oil galley hole, and there's there's one of those uh, little plugs back up in there. And a lot of times guys will miss that, miss that, you know, forget to put it in because out of sight and out of mind. And then you have uh, very low oil pressure on account of that because you got this huge leak I forget I don't know I'm not exactly sure offhand what diameter this hole is but you know you got a leak that big around um, so you know that tends to get forgotten so I just thought I'd share this you know that right there is a a day ruiner if uh, you guys forget that on you so um like I said I thought I'd share it and, and talk to you guys later thanks for looking bye